I'm Molly McQueen, and Steve McQueen was my grandfather. Thank you. This October marks the 50th anniversary of his iconic film, Bullet. It's crazy. You talk to people about great car chase movies, and it still remains the gold standard. Now, maybe I'm a little bit biased. I'm definitely a little bit biased. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact of the passion that my grandfather brought to driving. We all know he loved cars, and truthfully, he could have picked any car in the world to be in that movie. But he chose the Mustang for two reasons. First, it was incredibly important to him to pick a car that the average American could afford, especially on a detective salary. And second, it's badass. I mean, it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? I love that he wanted the car to be accessible to a lot of people. He wanted to give them the opportunity in real life to capture the thrill that they saw on screen. That is why I am so excited and so honored to be here with all of you to unveil the all new Mustang Bullet. This car does something that really channels the spirit of my grandfather. So when I was younger, I remember coming across a script, one of the bullet scripts in a box in our house. And it had, <laughs> he had all of his notes and his scribbles on it. And what really caught my eye is that he had crossed out line after line of his own dialogue. Now, as an actor myself, I can tell you that we don't typically, well, never really give ourselves less to say. But he was smart enough and he was confident enough to strip away everything that was unnecessary. And what was left was thrilling. The same is true of the 2019 bullet. It is a minimalist work of art that calls back the original 68. Debadged with unique 19-inch wheels, a faux gas cap, and a manual transmission with only a cue ball shift knob, just like my grandpa would have wanted. The engineers even gave the V8 a signature exhaust note. Oh, and while they were at it, they made it more powerful than a Mustang GT. It is fun, it's fast, and effortlessly cool. You know, I never got to meet my grandfather. Sadly, he passed away before I was born. But thanks to my mom and all of her stories, he has always been a part of my life. And I always like to think that he's looking down on us as he shifts on to, into fourth. So, if you are looking down, Steve, we have a special treat for all of you that I know you will like. Molly. Hi. Hey, Sean Kiernan. Nice to meet Molly, you. Nice to meet you. As you know, there were uh, two original movie cars. Mm -hmm. One was recently found in Mexico. That was the stunt car. Right. The other one um, was actually the one that your grandfather drove, which kind of ties in uh, with my family. When my dad passed away uh, in 2014, I actually worked on the car your grandfather drove in Bullet. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You want to grab that? I'll grab this. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so it's all original. What is this? And that's actually a Warner Brothers sticker. Oh, my God. The 7 Arch from 68. There's been about eight people since your grandfather that sat in the car. This is so cool. On the right side of the tack, there's a couple little fun things with it. The guy that built it for Steve, actually it didn't have a red line on it, uh, so the motor would fall to pieces if you hit a certain amount. So he wrote that on a piece of tape and stuck it on the tack. For two years, it was my mom's daily driver, and she was a third grade school teacher. I wanted you to start it. Start it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> she, should be, uh, she should be able to handle it. There you go. Oh my god.